Understand how certain Indians use it as a, you know, they use it as a certain Native Native Americans use it as a um, a healing process, you know, the Thanksgiving holiday. But I, yeah. but I also feel like even though you know you're trying to change the meaning of this day and use it as a healing process, which is cool, I, nothing against that. There's always going to there, there there's still going to be that like some painful memories. Every time this day rolls around, <clears throat> it's yeah. just natural. Gotta be. And I really encourage everybody like to do this research for yourself because like it's really different like when you actually reading it and doing it yourself because you get like a, you know, we're going over it like real fast within this time we have. But you definitely want to go out. I tell you this with every show we do, go research what we're talking about. Just don't. Oh yeah. Just don't take our word for it. And just that's what we're trying to get people to understand. Don't just stop taking people's word for. It. Just whatever. Do the research yourself. Because just like I looked up that story earlier and I was <clears throat> like, you know, this can't be real. Like people pass fake news around all day. So you really gotta yep. you really gotta <clears throat> do your own research. Be your own person. Think for yourself. Think outside the box. You know what I'm saying? So after all that, after reading all this, like we should really ask it. Like, you know, people that celebrate it, you know what I'm saying? Should should really be thinking, should I really be celebrating this day? Just knowing Again, where it came from, what it originated from, and then even though you know, even though now it's 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 been, it's a tradition, it's a national holiday now. So that national holiday means it's a pagan holiday. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what those that's basically what those are. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> I could see I could see Cray like if it was. You know, if if it was, but you know what they can't, they really can't present the truth because the truth, if they if you, if America tell you the straight up truth of how Thanksgiving came about, you know, as far as in as far as the um, pilgrims or separatists, what they were called before they was called pilgrims, oh, yeah, in, 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 their, in their eyes, their eyes are going to make the story look good on themselves. Oh, you know, yes. you're talking about some dudes that jumped on the Mayflower and they've been selling for a long time, man. Them dudes was hungry. They was looking for a place to land or dock the boat. You know, they didn't have a lot of stuff going on. They didn't just land with, you know, looking real crispy and fresh like that. They were actually befriended by some people, you know, but that's the, that's the part that's left out in the history books just to make themselves look good. I would have just been like, man, keep it 100. Hey, if I landed somewhere, it came and I'm looking, these people took me in and fed me and all that kind of stuff. <coughs> I'm going to leave the history book like that instead of make it look like, you know, I came over and brought them some civilization. Those people are already civil. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that kind of thing is just a disgrace, but it's kind of hard to go back and, you know, uncover those old burial bones. You know what I'm saying? That they had for people and stuff like that. Because when you're building on top of an old burial ground, these are the things that come up. Yeah. The truth comes up and it comes up at a time that it's not good for you. So, you know... I'm surprised still that they even call it Thanksgiving like that because of what they've done to people. Yeah, know? it's like, it's like, at least, if you're going to keep this tradition going, at least start it from, okay, we're going to start from here. Yeah. And all that other, all that other stuff in the past, we're just going to travel. Just like, I feel the same way about the National Anthem, but that's a whole different episode we'll talk about that. But, um, man, you know, um, <clears throat> time... Time and time again, we've we've been misinformed, led astray, or just flat out lied to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying by the powers that be, whether it's the president, the Congress, and the chief of police, and the, the mayor, the, the damn governor, insurance companies, damn it, hey. you name it, they all been caught in lies. You know what I'm saying? You can't believe everything they tell you, and these these are the people that that are supposed to be like protecting and you know, taking care of the citizens, but you can't believe everything they tell you. You cannot rely on, I say this time and time again, you cannot rely on humans, cannot rely on humans to mm. solve your problems, to answer all your questions, or to get you to the real life, because that's not their intentions. No. Nah. That's not their intentions. Their intentions is to keep you, me, and everybody else in total darkness, misinformed yes. on the important deep things in life. 
So they give us all this, they give us all this garbage entertainment and all this stuff that really means nothing. It means nothing, you know Keep what I'm saying? Pacified, but, yeah. but you know, what they're doing is very, very deep, dark, and uh, devious. It's not even to beat that kind of dead horse, though, but it's the same way when you, when you, not only do you take from a people, but you rewrite the history books. That's the part that I have a problem with the whole time because that's what's been written about every race except for, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, WASP. You know, this country, once they came over here on different, uh, made the 16 colonies or 13 colonies and all that kind of thing, this, this was intended for them. So everybody else was excluded, even the people that possessed the land. So, you know, when you have that kind of evil like that, you, you're not going to tell the truth at all. Everything that is, everything that this country, United States, has been built on has been a lie. Speaking on that, the reason the majority of the population is being misinformed or misled right now, it's not an accident and it's not a coincidence. The powers that be cannot, just like we just said, they cannot tell you the truth and maintain their grip on society. Right. That's just the bottom line. So you can always expect them to lie to us right down to the very end. You know, you have you have to stay poor in order for them to stay rich. That's how the system is set up. The system is not broken. It was made like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fixed for them. You have to, you know what I'm saying, you have to stay poor in order for them to stay rich. We were just speaking about Agenda 21 on the last podcast. They're lying to us about the earth being overpopulated. True fact, true fact, though. Yeah. Do you know how big this planet is, though? For them to be saying they really, really think we stupid. For them to be saying that this earth is overpopulated. It's known that the world's entire population would fit inside the city of Jacksonville or Los Angeles. That's right. If all 7 billion people in this on the earth stood shoulder to shoulder, mm -hmm. they would all fit inside the city of Jacksonville or Los Angeles. This is just the city. Right. And then we got all the rest of the whole world to work with. So... What is y'all talking about? That's just that. Yeah, yo, I'm glad you pointed that out right there, man. So, bro, the bottom line is every world power, every world power that has existed was built on lies, discrimination, greed, and bloodshed. Yeah. Every single one. Since man has been ruling themselves on this earth, there has not been one nation that has been great. You can't be great when it was built off blood, other people's blood and sacrifice. They're, they have not been great. That's real, Cray. So I don't want to hear this shit about make this place great or this nation was great or we were great. Nigga, no, you what, nigga? Yo, Cray, I, I can't come rob your house, you know, tie you up and tie your family up and then, you know, uh, put y'all in the basement and then this is my house now. And I'm going outside getting the mail and my flip flops in my house robe. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. That's 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 by that's by blood you taking somebody's things, and that's not how you establish no country. That's not you how you even establish the, uh, the, you know you don't want the young people growing up like that and thinking that this is the way to become, you know that doggy dog world and all that thing. Everything we become to because of the people have decided to take by force things. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Instead of that's why a lot of people say it was uh, in God we trust that America was founded on. They didn't mean they don't mean our God. They don't mean nothing like that, because if when you got God's ways, you're not making, first of all, you're not enslaving nobody. You're not, that's what you're not trying to do at all. You're trying to do the work yourself, and you're trying to have a heart to lend to somebody, and try to have a heart to give to somebody. <coughs> you ain't trying to take over nobody's stuff when you get over there. That's like a house guest, you know what I'm saying? It's like I was saying before, a house guest just, you know, dog, no, you can't just, this ain't your house. So, something else I gather from doing all the research on this Thanksgiving Day is, uh, is that those European colonists, you know, the ones that were supposed that that supposedly discovered America and came over here and laid claim to something that had already been claimed, you know what I'm saying? It's clear to me what they did, like I said earlier. You know, they came over, they 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 learned the game, you know what I'm saying? You know, um we know the history of this nation. We know 
You know what they did to Indians. We know what they did to black people, Mexicans. It's, it, it don't stop. We, you know, they they notorious. Jewish people. And everybody that's been affected by... Armenians. By, by, by these oppressors, you know what I'm saying? They basically came over here. They saw the land. They saw how the Indians was living good and prospering from it. And they figured it was good for the taking. And, you know... And they took it to make a long story short. So, yeah. in other words, that's saying they came, they saw, and they conquered. Really should say they came, they infiltrated, and they stole. Yeah, because they did infiltrate. They for made real. For, they made actually even the Thanksgiving. That's what they to did. That, the Thanksgiving feast actually lasted for three days. You know what I'm saying between the um, between the Native Americans and the, the separatists, or what they call themselves pilgrims and things like that. They traded in different things what they didn't have, but the Native Americans helped them. They got them, you know, they kind of cleaned them up and got them up on their feet. They was on a long boat ride, G. You know what I'm saying? So for them to paint the picture backwards, I just don't know how that happens like that, except for if you don't have, uh, when you have evil inside yourself, that's when you go back and take the story wrong. You know, ain't nothing wrong with me saying, hey, man, I went over there and them people helped me out, man. They cleaned us up, man. We was on this long boat. Why couldn't they just say it like that? We on this long boat ride, man. We got over there, man. Hey, these folks was cooking something. They let us sit down with them and eat. Because what the Native Americans was doing, see, they had Thanksgiving before that anyway. What they were doing was thanking God. And they were um, having a fast and having going to have a feast afterwards. Now, what they did was they thanked God after they looted the graves of the dead Indians and they took all their stuff out their graves. Mm. Things that helped them get through those nights too and they and you know and they said and and they they said prayers to God thanking them. Saying that it was God. Yeah, and that's that's two but, different but, things. But, but, yeah. but see it is uh, that's what I'm saying like it's so many stories that goes this way and that way, bro. It's like they made sure the truth was buried. But mm -hmm. you can always go up under there and you get you know what I'm saying because the truth is going to always be revealed. It's going to always be revealed. And like I said, you know what I'm saying? Like, with all this being said, the main thing we want people to get out this podcast is basically we want everybody, we want every episode, every episode we do is to make sure y'all go check these things out for yourself. Yourself. Make sure you do the research again. Make sure you do the research and know what's going on in your world because... Keeping it 100, it's, it, it's about to get very real out here, man. Let the truth talk to him. 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 Let the truth talk to him.